manifesting my inner Brad Colbaugh. So today we have here Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. In India, it's priced at rupees fifty-five thousand. If you had seen the video of my vision board, then you might know that I wanted a tablet for so long. And if you haven't seen that, then the video link is up there. So yeah, I just wanted it, and I thought I would get it in twenty twenty one, but I did not think that I would get it so soon. Anyway, I got it. Let's just quickly do the unboxing. We have the tab here, of course, and then we have the S Pen that is surprisingly lightweight. I have used the Apple Pencil, and it is nothing in compared to that. And it has a small button. Other than that, in the box we have the charger plug, of course, and some wires to go with it. Other than that, we have just some normal pen and papers, which is just of no use. So let's keep it aside. Coming on to my pretty, pretty, pretty tab, we have the mystic bronze color because why not? I mean, you give me such option and you think I'll choose black? Please, no. It's twenty-seven point eight one centimeter. That is eleven inch. Also, I got a cover because safety first, guys. Always safety first. It's a navy blue Robustrian marble series trifold flip stand case cover with S Pen holder for Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. It's in the description. App. You can see it. Before I fit in my tab, let's see some of the keys that it has. We have the power key that is also the fingerprint sensor, and then we have the volume keys. After that, we have the SD card holder. charging jack at the bottom and keyboard things on one of the side and we have at last four speakers on both the sides of the tablet now the tab is completely snuggled in the cover and we have the charging area for the pen and it stuck so nicely the sound that it makes it's so satisfying and we have some place in here to keep it so that it's more safe just so because i am very 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 clumsy okay i am now till the time it is waking from its deep sleep let me tell you some of its specification it has a 13 plus 5 mp rear camera with 4k video resolution and it has a 8 mp front camera also with a 6 gb ram size and 128 gb rom size its available memory is only 102.7 gb but it supports an external memory card micro sd card up to 1 tb its weight is 500 g and it has a battery capacity of 8000 mah also this is a wifi version not the sim card version and it's all done now that the unboxing is over let's go on to the review especially for artists Yeah, I know artist stuffs, but let's first focus on the coolest thing on this tablet, that is the display and the audio. It has a refresh rate of 120 hertz, which makes everything super smooth. But unfortunately, it does not have the AMOLED screen that the Tab S7 Plus has. It only has the LCD screen. Now, just witness the audio. Also the tab does not have a 3.5 mm jack for earphones but you can use the bluetooth ones. The second most amazing feature that I think that Samsung added is the Samsung Dex feature. Here you can easily turn your tab into a desktop mode. If you're used to it work on Windows then this is a really cool thing because it just turns into similar like that. I don't use this feature a lot because it's better with a keyboard and a mouse and I just use the pen, S Pen, so it's better to use the tab version, but it's really good for multitasking like here I can use the uh, Autodesk sketchbook and on the side I can just edit my videos if I want to draw something on my video then I could just draw on the sketchbook and then import it into the editing thing. Apps usually open in free floating windows but you can make them full screen too but I would suggest them to keep it like that. It just makes everything easier. Like you see here I'm making a video on kinemaster or kinemaster whatever people call and here it's I'm adding a image from here and adding a voice over from the Samsung voice app and then just making it so easy so easy To go back to the tablet version just go on to the settings and turn off the Samsung Dex Also this tab comes with a 6 month subscription of Clip Studio Paint which is like a professional artist app. Now this is not how the workspace looked when I first came in. I just created it 
to suit mine it, this is how it came first so you can fit in like you want to it's like photoshop and uh, like illustrator but i think it has some less features i haven't used it uh, completely so i'll tell it maybe after a few months that would be a better review than now but i have used it over time to tell you all how it is and i like it i like it it is good It also has various cool brush options that you can choose from. If you want to choose, you have it on, in the tool property. If you don't have this window, you can just click on the window up there and then ask for the tool property window and it will just appear. There are two kinds of Clip Studio Paint. One is Pro and one is Paint X. The Pro one is for character art and concept art and illustrations, whereas the Paint X is for manga and comics or animations. Also, I don't think many of the tab reviews mention it, but the S Pen also works as a cursor as if you hover it over any of the tools, then it will show what does it do like any cursor does and then you click on it and it works. I think it's a really cool feature. The next feature I want to mention is about the screen write and I don't think it's exclusive to this tab but it's a really cool feature so you must know about it. Before I mention you about that I want to tell you that S Pen allows you to control your Samsung Galaxy Note remotely that is if you just click on the button and then use some gestures then it would work from far away not very far away but it works. You could even customize these features or gestures by going into the settings and just make it as you wish. Now about the screen write, you can just draw anything on the screenshot that you just clicked by having these various options that you get. And I think it's a, a very good idea to just use it anytime you want without going to the editing apps or to any of the drawing apps. So it's good to just use for some basic editing. Yeah, I don't know why I'm torturing the dude, but I just want to show that it has some cool features. You could even share it directly from here just by clicking on it and then using any of the app to share or just discard it if you want to. The next artistic feature about this tab is the AR zone but I think it is present in almost all of the Samsung devices but it is a good one to use it for just sending messages or to create some poses that you want to like this one here if you stand right next to it and then do some pose it will do that like that so you can use it for artist stuff and it has really good clothes so just fashion designing stuff you know artistic things that you can you are creative you can do it Okay, this is something that I only found in this tab and I don't know if it is present in others also. It's a smart select feature where you can just select anything from the screen that you're viewing and then edit it as much as you want to or do anything with it. Like here again, I'm torching this dude and just cutting it out his face and then editing it as I want to making him a lion or something. I was trying to do something but then I just just gave up. This feature can be used by artists like if they are watching some movie and they want some reference of the actor or actress, they can just screen select it and then use it. This is another good artistic feature for the artist that is the live message thing where you can just use the live message feature to communicate in a whole new way. You can draw your own animated GIFs or emojis like here I'm doing hello Zanarashi here and then you see that so easy to create a moving intro or something i think it's a good feature for us to use these pen effects and backgrounds and send lively animated messages in our own handwriting so it's just giving it a very much personal touch like this thing right here would have taken so much animation and it's just so easy to create on this live messages app The next feature is from the AR zone that I talked about before but it also has a different app for it AR doodle where you can just use your face to create a doodle over it which I think is a really weird thing but also a very cool thing. Like you see here I turned myself into a sweet little lollipop so yeah you can do that. Too. 
Now this is not the tab feature but it came pre-installed with it so I'll just talk about it in brief. It's a pen up app which you can find it on any Android or I think iOS also. Now there are various vector images that are pre-drawn here which you can just use and color it as as you want to so that you can use it in different kinds of projects that you have so it's a good thing for that other than that they also have these live drawing things where you can just use them to learn how to draw th different things so i was trying to learn this dog here which was just it was good to have a basic drawing that you can draw over Now those were all the features that I wanted to talk about but there is also this screen card thing that I want to talk about. So it's by a company called Oki which promised a paper mat like screen guard and I got it just so use it. I had heard that it's better to use these kind of paper mat structure to be better at drawing. Okay so I've been using this tab for almost 15 to 20 days now with the screen guard and I do not like it. Yes that's my final announcement that I do not like it with the screen guard. I don't know if you had bought a better version of a screen guard then it would have been better but I just like the screen that was the way it was just raw. I will experiment with some other screen guards over time so you can ask me in the comments if you have any questions regarding it. And so that has been all the review of this tab. I could go on and on about this amazing tab that i got and the s pen just needs a completely different video of it but yeah that is it do like share and subscribe if you like it Bye bye